channel. So today I'm going to be having this look for you guys. Um, it is going to be part of my Valentine's Day look, but um, Valentine's Day looks that I have up on my channel, um, I believe it might be the second or the third one I have up now. Um, but this, you can wear it for anything, for a girl's night out, for a date, for prom, for a wedding. You can wear this look um, pretty much anywhere you go. So I really, really liked it. I um, had recorded it before and I just didn't like the way it was coming out. My camera wasn't on focus and it was just big mess. So I re-recorded it and I hope um, it came out as good as the first time. Um, my makeup at least and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I did went ahead and used my new foundation that I have um, let me know how it looks on me because I super weird I'm gonna try it out again tomorrow um, it is my first time trying it out it is my new Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation you guys have probably heard about it it is their brand new foundation I don't know if it's their first foundation ever or something. I think it's the first one I've seen that they have. But um, it looked really pretty. The bottle is really pretty. I just love the packaging. For some reason, it's just really sleek and it just catches my attention. So I got it um, at my local drugstore and I thought it was way too dark for me. Um, but as I'm looking at myself right now, I kind of like it. I don't know. I think I need to go out in the daylight and actually check. But let me know what you guys think about it. And let me know if you want to see a review on it. Um, I am going to be trying it out tomorrow um, from the morning to the night. And if you want, I can do um, sort of like a sort of like a first impression on it. Um, let me know because I know um, it's brand new. So let me know what you guys think about it. Um, and if you guys want to see uh, a review on it or anything. And yes, excuse my nails. Girls out there, you know that when your nails fall, you end up like this. Clawless. But um, I am going to be just waiting till they come out. I think I have five left and they're not on the same hand. And I am going to be waiting so I can go. Um, just going to give them a little breather for Valentine's Day. I'm going to wait till then to get my nails done. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this look, um, and make sure to keep watching, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and any questions or any advice or anything, make sure to leave it down in the comments bar, and I will get back to you guys. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay guys, so my eyebrows are done, like always, and we're just gonna start with priming our eyes, um, with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And like always, I love this primer, and you're just going to blend it out with your fingers, and then you're going to go ahead and set it with just a light eyeshadow that you have laying around. Um, I am using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, the Eye Palette, and I'm going to be using the cream color, which is the color Ludwin. I will be putting the names down below just because they are a little bit hard to say, just in case I butcher them and you want to know which ones they are. So I will be putting that there. Um, next, I'm going to be using the color Lactis, I believe. Latis. Latis. It's the pink um, melon color in the palette. Um, and I'm going to be using that on the crease for a, to be a good transition color. And as you, gonna, as you see, I am going to be blending that out very well onto the crease. Um, and then I'm going to be going in with the reddish copperish color in the palette which is the color Laceous. Um, it is the only kind of like reddish color in there so you'll know which one it is and I am just going to be blending that out um, all over my crease and focusing more of it in my outer corner and sorry guys if I look a little distracted I was listening to music but watching music videos at the same time which is totally a bad idea but I wanted to get this video up for you guys, so then I went ahead and used the color, I believe, Solas, Solas, which is the brownish, the darker brown color in there, and I am focusing that on the outer corner. 
Um, and then whenever I know there's not a lot of product on the brush, I will just um, windshield motion to the front. And then I'm going to be using the black color, which is the color Shax. And I'm going to be focusing that on the outer corner. I switched a brush. I am using more of a more dense uh, blending brush. This brush is from BH Cosmetics, I believe. And it's very well for this. Um, it is supposed to be for your face. But I use it for this and it is perfect. So you just want to focus that on the outer corner of your eye. And... Um, I'm just making sure, you want to make sure that you have both eyes the same because I did have more black um, on the top on one eye and the other one had a little bit less. So you're going to see in the video that one of my eyes looks darker than the other, but I do fix it on later. So, um, and I don't think I recorded it when I fixed it, but I did fix it. And then we're going to go in with my MAC pigment. It is a pink pigment. I believe that's the name of it. It just says pink on it. And I'm going to be using some... No, I'm lying. It's called Rose. It's a rose pigment from MAC. And I'm just going to be using some MAC Fix Plus on a brush. And um, just putting that on my lid. Um, just packing it on. Making sure it doesn't go over the crease. Because you do not want to mess up the work you already did. So I just went over um, the part wherever I did not have any shadow. And... Um, this color is beautiful. It is an iridescent pink. I think it is perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, it just shines so beautifully in the light. This lighting, this camera is not doing it justice. It is more of a pink, and here it looks more like a melon, like a light pink. But it is very, very beautiful, and it is, um, it, it's just very, very nice. So it's perfect for Valentine's Day if you want to go for, like, a romantic pink look. Um... I really, really love it. And now we're just going to go back in with the black. Um, and we're just going to make sure we blend that out. Because um, just in case you do mess up with the pigment, you can just always go back in with the color that you were blending with. And just fix it um, around the edges of the, of the pigment. Plus, you want to make sure everything's blended out and there's no harsh lines. So... Right now, I am just checking and I am adding more pigment on there. I wanted to show you guys um, that I did mess up a little and I had to go over again. Just so you guys know, like it's not, it doesn't take one try to do this. Um, it does take a couple of times. If you are having troubles with it, don't worry, you're going to get it. So we're going to be going in with my eyeliner, which I, I use the NYC eyeliner. But I am so used to using tape that I was freaking out to use it without tape. Um, miracle, right? I did not use tape today. But um, I think I did a pretty good job for not using tape. So um, I did clean it up a bit with some makeup remover wipes after. Um, but I think I did pretty good for... I think I did pretty good for just, um, you know, no tape. Um, trying to get that wing on fleek. And then I got one eye, and um, the other one was a little harder. The left eye is always harder for me. And um, as you can see, the right eye, it doesn't look very thick because after I put my eyelashes, I do go over, and it makes it, um, it makes, I just, um, how do you call it? I just make the line go more straight after I put the lashes. It's just easier that way. Um and I think I got the wings and both eyes pretty good. They were not that bad, as bad as I thought they would be. I think I need a pen eyeliner, but I do not know what's a good one. So let me know down below if you have any suggestions for that, for any good pen eyeliners. So as you can see, I went in with my eyeliner, um, I mean with my wipey, and I just uh, fixed that up. And then I am using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my favorite mascara at this time. And I just um, coated my lashes with one coat. And um, I did put Falsy Salon Perfect 6, 615s out of the camera because I do not know how to put it on camera. I'm sorry. Um, and right now I'm using the Benefit Pore Professional. Um, I did get a sample size. If you see, if you saw my Sephora haul, you saw that I did get a sample size. And 
Um, I am going to be using the new Milani uh, foundation. It's a two-in-one foundation and concealer foundation. So I will be using that. And I did just buy um, a beauty blender. So I was trying it out and I do like it. I just had to speed it up a bit because it does take a while to put it on with the beauty blender. I am more used to just using a stiffling brush um, or a buffing brush. So this does take a little bit more time um, just because you have to add more to give it the full coverage you want. Um, but I really like it. I'm kind of getting used to it. And then um, this foundation, I really, really liked it. I I might be doing a first impression soon, um, which will have like updates during the day and everything. Um, I just have to... I just have to get a day where I'm going to be out and about just to make sure how long it does last. Um, but if you guys want, I can totally do that for you guys so you can see this foundation, how it works. And then I am going to be going in with my NYC concealers, HD concealers. One is CW03 and one is CW04, I believe. Um, they are way too light for me and I... We'll be picking up some new ones. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for any new concealers, let me know down below because I am looking for some new concealers. Um, and what I did like about the Beauty Blender is that it blended my concealer very nice with the tip of it. So I really, really like that. And I did get this Beauty Blender with my Kat Von D um, foundation. It was like um, a bundle, but my foundation was too dark for me, so I have to go return that. Um, so now we're going to be contouring our face. I am not going to be showing you in depth contour because I'm still also learning myself. This is just the way I do it. It's not a professional way. It's just the way I do it. And I use my Kat Von D, um, contour palette. I do not use creams because I do not like it. I think it makes me look muddy, but I love this contour palette. And this e.l.f. brush, blending brush, is perfect to blend out your contour. Perfect, just amazing for this, and I am speeding it up here, guys. And I am using my new NYX um, matte bronzer just to give it more of a glow on my contour. Um, I do like like a bronzy look, and um, this was new, and I really liked it. It wasn't that bad. And then I'm gonna be going in with the airspun, um, the airspun translucent powder. And this is also an e.l.f. contouring brush. This is just, uh, I have two, and this one I use it for the for baking. And I do this just to sharpen my contour because um, I like more of a sharp contour. And um, it's awesome for this. It's awesome for baking. And then I'm going to be using this, I believe it's a contour brush by Real Techniques. And I'm going to bake under my eyes with it. And yes, there was powder everywhere. That's the only bad thing about this translucent powder um and then i'm going to be going in with the elf uh blush quad and it is the light one because i know there's a dark this is the light one and um the shimmery pink uh shade i love that so i went ahead and put that on my cheeks and um i really like the way it looks it's a lot of pink um which i really really liked and then you're just going to buff everything off of your face. I'm sorry if it looks too fast, but um, it's just, I do this in every video. So if you want to see it slower, um, I do have more videos where I do do this part um, a lot slower than today. And then I went in with my Kevon D contour palette with the banana shade just to give it more um, brightness under my eye after I removed the translucent powder. Then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Highlighting Palette, um, which is the new um, highlighting palette that they came out with, the Glow Kit. And it is the Gleam Palette. And I am using all the colors, all four colors, which is Hard Candy, Mimosa, Starburst, and Crushed Pearl. And then I'm going to be going in with an e.l.f. Um, gloss. It did not have a name, but I know it's a pink gloss, and it's like a dollar. Um, so that's what I used on my lips, and I really liked it. So thank you so much for watching guys. I know it was a bit fast, but um, I just wanted to speed it up for you guys a little bit. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. I love you guys. Have a great day and I will see y'all later. Bye.